This edition of Mac Voices is supported by you, our viewers and listeners, through our new Patreon campaign. If you get value from Mac Voices, please consider helping support the show by visiting patreon.com slash macvoices. Welcome to Mac Voices. This is the talk of the Apple community, and I'm Chuck Joyner. Folks, folks, the time is getting a little bit short. We're starting to uh, look towards San Jose and WWDC, and therefore, at least some of our focus shifts to the developer community, the one of the most important parts of the Apple community. Um, and of course, WWDC is for developers, and it's it's expensive to get into. It's very difficult to get into, but there's an alternative. And that is called AltConf. You've probably heard us talk about it here on Mac Voices before. It's happening again this year. And I'm delighted to have the lead organizer for AltConf this year, Anna Crook, join us to tell us what all they're going to be doing. Anna, welcome. It's great to see you. Hi. Thanks, Chuck. Thanks for having me. Well, thank you. And and so I'll let everyone in on this on, on this secret. You were kind enough to get up at 8 a.m. Sydney time to talk to me. So thank you very much. I appreciate it. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm only sad I couldn't get the Harbour Bridge or the Opera House in the background for you, you know. Well, but. you know, look, look at my background, so there's not much to worry about. <laughs> so you are – somehow they talked you into being the lead organizer this year. So congratulations or condolences. I'm not sure which. Um, Thanks. But yeah, Alt, AltConf has just been – it's been wonderful for me because I can come. I can meet with developers. I can see some phenomenal presentations um, and never set foot inside WWDC properly. So yeah. with that, what are we doing this year? So I think – um, some of the, the key things we've done in previous years will be things we'll bring back. So we've got two great speaker tracks again, which um, similar to how we had last year, but all the talks are made up of kind of those community um, submissions again. So that's really exciting. And we had a huge number this year, so just over 125 submissions. And we've kind of whittled them down. And now we've got a really jam-packed schedule um, that... Um, that is comprised of so many different talks. And I won't get into the technical detail of them, but it will be announced in the coming days. But um, we've got that going on. And then, um, you know, we've got that usual kind of community feel to the event, Chuck. So um, we're still offering those free tickets. And, and that's really that opportunity for us to say to the kind of, to you guys, the community, come in, get involved, come to one session, come to the whole week, you know, like just, just get involved and kind of be there and and enjoy um, kind of being around the your fellow developers and the others in the community. Now, as you said, the the speaker tracks have not been formally announced yet, at least at least as we speak here. So I, I'm not asking sp for specifics, but one thing, Anna, that's always struck me is. These there's some technical talks, but they tend more to be about the developer community and and aspects that sort of go around the tech, and and that's yeah. one of the things because for some of us that are not developers, that makes it that much more approachable. But it also sucks me into that developer world. It helps me understand it a little better. Yeah, absolutely. And I think um, you know that that's the beauty of a lot of the talks. Really, you know, we'll have talks from people saying even just talking about public speaking, you know, and, and with a with a slightly tangible tech link there to we'll have other talks. Um, you know, something we've got going on this year with one of our lead sponsors, our platinum sponsor, Virgil Security, talking about that privacy there, but but also saying this isn't just about big corporations, this is about you and your own business and how do you make how do you do this and how how do you do this easily without maybe having to start again? Or, you know, there's there's a real feel within all of them, like you're saying, that even if um, even if you're not particularly technically minded or whatever, you can go to them and actually you can gain so much from them regardless. Yeah, and, and I love sitting through them, um, even though, again, some of them I can't relate to, but I still, I, I like to get in as many as I can because I've, I've I just I learn. I've I've def yeah. definitely changed some of my own opinions and thoughts on issues that relate to the developer community by hearing folks kind of tell the other side. You 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 know what it's like to be a consumer of apps. You don't always appreciate what it's like to be a developer of apps. Yeah, I agree completely. And I think I think that's the thing. I think I guess what I'd say to people if they're looking at the schedule and maybe they had a few t particular topics in mind that they were really hoping to get from it. If they're not specifically there or the main focus of the week, 
give some other ones a try as well because I think like you're saying you never know what you can get from a talk and um, one of the things we're also doing this year is um, doing some lightning talks so some talks that are just that 10 minute slot rather than all of them being 45 minutes and actually you know what's 10 minutes if you can pop in see a talk um, you know and and gain something from it then then actually isn't it worth it just you know for that that 10 minutes really I, I love that idea and also, every talk that I've ever been to that I wanted to, the, it, it inevitably spills out in the hallway afterwards where people are talking to the speaker or maybe discussing things that were brought up in the talk. So it's, yeah. it's not, it's not a, okay, I have to go here, then I have to go here, then I have to go here. It's, it's, it's sort of an unstructured structure. Yeah, completely. And, and again, touch on the beauty of kind of the week and meeting different people and and ha like you say how it does spill out into the hallway and almost that hallway track you know what what is going on there um and you know there are people um that I've spoken to be it volunteers that have signed up this year or speakers and and actually they're saying there are people that they've met at Dub Dub or Alt Conf that they've only met there. They only see them during that week, but they're all from different areas across the world, and that's their week where they get to reconnect and kind of catch up and and sort of see various different sessions and and kind of just all kind of come together on on similar kind of topic and that whole developer community. And it's a funny thing too that happens with so many of these conferences. You meet someone, you stay in touch uh, by by social media or or email um, throughout the year. You become friends. Then the next year, it's you know hugs and slaps on the back and hey, it's great yeah. to see you. And and it, it really is. It, we live in such a virtual world, but there's still something extremely important about these kind of connecting point conferences. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's really key. And I think, you know, what the thing that kicks the week off really there is that is that keynote, you know, those those latest announcements and then and the week just evolves, doesn't it? So now, since you brought up the keynote, we have to ask, um, are you going to be uh, showing it live like you have the last few years? Yeah, we will be. So um, we'll have that going on in our 900 seat um, theatre space. So um, hopefully it should be space for everyone. Um, and in similar to kind of previous years, we'll um, kind of invite those first in the line to come in um, and grab a burrito um, and coffee. So we've got those. Um, thanks again to kind of our sponsors, really. So we've got Steam Clock Software sponsoring our burritos and we've got Paddle sponsoring our coffee. So I think get in the line, come in, join us for the keynote, grab your burrito, your coffee and grab a seat, really. Yeah. And I, I have to tell you, it's. I've never been inside WWDC, but mm. the it's a, it's a it's a much different experience watching a keynote, either live or on video on your computer screen alone, and sitting in a room <laughs> full of developers, and ha hearing the the cheers and the groans and the you know the, the the very emotional reactions to the announcements, mm. that just makes it so much more fun. And sometimes you understand where those cheers or groans come from, and other times you have to elbow the guy beside you and say, "Why? You know what's going yeah. on here." Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I um, I didn't, I wasn't in watching the keynote last year, but I heard all of those reactions, and you know, it was, it was kind of like it was like everyone was watching a movie almost. It was, you know, everyone's gripped and kind of so excited about what's gonna, what's gonna come from it. So it's a really good, good thing. Well, and and this is something that will affect the the lives of those people. I mean, their their livelihood in the in the next in the coming year that, you know, those announcements, what, what new capabilities are going to be given and what, what items they're going to be given access to. So it's not just a social thing. It's a pretty big deal. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Sets people up for the year for sure. Right. <laughs> so in the theater space, we have the, the keynote that will be shown. And then when, when do the actual talks start? Do they start Monday afternoon or do they start Tuesday? So they start Tuesday, so just um, for the rest of the Monday, so following the keynote, we'll have um, kind of a panel reaction to the keynote, a chance to ask questions and kind of just explore it in a little bit more detail. And then in the afternoon, we'll have the Developer State of the Union um, going on. And then um, following that in the afternoon, which although it's separately ticketed, we've got the Accidental Tech Podcast live from the same theatre space. 
And then, yeah, from the Tuesday morning at 9 a.m., we have um, our our normal uh, speaker schedule starting. Um, so we'll have the two rooms, like I said before, um, running kind of all day, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And then what we've got going along on alongside those are some labs this year. So last year we kind of dabbled in a few community events and meetups and and this year we've actually really got quite a full lab set um, schedule kind of sit to sit alongside the speaker schedule, which is really exciting because I think labs give um, just a different experience. So they allow they allow attendees and the host to kind of explore a different topic in a bit more detail and and actually have that real interaction kind of in the classroom, so to speak. So that's really exciting. Now, can you explain the difference to us for, between labs and just the the other sessions, I guess the the speaker sessions, um, for the for the folks who may not have been there before or experienced uh, labs at past all conferences. Yeah, of course. So um, I think the so the speaker sessions are, um, I guess traditionally, but we are always open to different kind of ways that people do it. But traditionally, the speaker um, will kind of be it have a slide deck or video um, videos and things to take take the attendees through and it all it's a bit more kind of the speakers at the front guiding the listeners through a through a topic and then there's a chance at the end for questions and answers on the topic that they've gone through whereas the labs um, is more of like a classroom setup so it's a chance for everyone in there bring their laptop along um, you know, they'll um, the host of the lab will kind of guide you through um, the topic there, and that's really kind of interaction throughout, and and really guiding participants there throughout the the duration of the lab um, on what's going on really, and that whole that interaction kind of takes place throughout the session rather than maybe only just only at the end where the where the speaker sessions there differ. So it really is, as you said, more of a classroom kind of thing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, and there's real scope there, I think. And, and I think the whole, the whole aim with AltConf, whether it's a speaker session or a lab is that people learn through it. But I think those, those workshops are, um, are way more kind of, um, throughout the session, that chance to kind of ask the questions and, and be kind of guided, guided along with the, the host, um, you know, almost, the host does and the the attendees can also complete and do that as well so it's that real chance to kind of maybe come away with um having done something on the laptop as well i guess I'm trying to explain it <laughs> yeah no that's 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 a pretty good explanation from the labs that i've sat through um because it is a bit more of a classroom kind of thing and yeah. you know the the instructor or instructors are helping but also people are helping each other and we're right back yeah. to that whole synergy yeah. thing yeah yeah you know, one other thing that um, that AltConf has always kind of had a, held in, in very high importance is to create a safe space for folks um, of 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 all persuasions. And I've, I I know that I saw on the website that that again, you know, there's there's very much a, a, a strict safety policy enforced. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think um, you know it, it comes with. Um, you know what what we're there for and what we're about and I think we just want to make sure that we play our part in terms of um, if people have come to the event that that they feel um, you know that they can be themselves that they um, that that there's someone there if something's happened that they don't think should have happened you know that we're there to kind of protect and support support them there and and that actually you know it's it's meant to be a week about all the positive things of learning and community and collaboration and synergy and and actually we don't want anything to detract from that so you know we we want to kind of we want to be aware of that and prevent it happening if if something did and unfortunately i've i've not seen i've seen some other conferences follow that lead not all of them and not that anything that i'm aware of has ever happened at any of those conferences but it really does it, it's nice to see it promoted brought to the fore so that okay if anybody is even contemplating doing something or if they do it accidentally you know they need to apologize and need to recognize it and learn and it's all part of the learning experience yeah absolutely 
So let's go down some specifics here. Um, we obviously know San Jose in parallel with WWDC. Where exactly is it? So we're at the San Jose Marriott, um, which is, for those that kind of came last year, it's the same venue. Um, for those that didn't, if you know where WWDC is going to be, then we're right next door. So um, we, you could, if you have a dub dub ticket, you could literally not leave and get through to Altcom, which is always nice. Um, but we're, you know, we're in the hub of San Jose. We're next to, um, as I said, we're next to WWDC. We're across the road from Layers. Like we're in that, the midst of that community kind of um, hub for the week, really. Um, and you know, it's it's very convenient in terms of getting to, getting from, going to the other conferences, if that's what you're doing, coming to us, events in the evening, you know, that we're all in that little hub. So, and it's, it's a great venue that we've got really, you know, um, big spaces for our speaker schedules. So, um, and the labs, um, and also for, for our sponsors in that, that hallway track that um, we kind of touched on before. So, Yeah. It, it is. It, it's a phenomenal location because, as you said, and, and it's it's fascinating to watch people that do have the dub dub tickets come over to AltConf for certain sessions yeah. and then bounce back over to to the to the dub dub proper. Um, so, I, and that speaks, I think, volumes to the quality of the conference you put on and the quality of the talks and the labs that you conduct. It it, it really does. Yeah. Thanks. I think, you know, it's, it's so great to be able to be right there and like, like saying, you know, be able to have people come through from the other conferences and be able to kind of, you know, given that in large part, we offer free tickets to be able to, to allow people to join us um, for, you know, for whatever they want to join us for. Now you mentioned that this is a free ticket. Well, most of them are free. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we we tend to we like to give people the choice. Um, so we offer free tickets, and you can just sign up on on the website for a free ticket, and just turn up in the week and kind of come to what you want. Um, but we also have um, our hero supporter tickets, which guarantees access. So um, for any sessions that kind of um, fill out or are completely subscribed, our hero supporters would kind of effectively get access before anyone else. So they prior they get priority over our free ticket holders, really. Um, and that comes with, you know, they've paid for that. They've they've paid to guarantee that entry there um, for the sessions. So um, they'd, they'd get that priority into the sessions there. But something you've also done that I because I checked the website before we went on, um, you yeah. also give folks the opportunity that if you want to contribute to AltConf, that you can do that as well, and I think that's an extremely important aspect of this. That you know, if you really are a developer who's scratching along, you can still come and benefit. But if you can afford to throw some money toward helping support this, it's it's so important, and it helps you you all continue to do it and make it bigger and better each year. Yeah, absolutely. That's um, I think that ticket you're referring to is like our I Love Alt Conf ticket, um, and effectively, yeah, it is that. It's a, a contribution towards Alt Conf, and you know that making it happen year after year. You know, um, we you know, as a community event and being able to offer free tickets, we rely on those contributions and and obviously the support from our sponsors that that mean we can come back year after year so they're hugely appreciated and I, I, I'm always refreshed and and kind of um just it's a really lovely thing to see people um kind of contribute to that ticket sort of ticket um and kind of contribute to the conference because I think you really see at that point the value that that they feel they're getting from us as a conference yeah, and and that's something I can't strongly encourage everyone to do. If you if you can't afford the hero supporter, or if you don't have the need for the hero, um, that's great. But you should definitely throw the s some money toward the I love alt conf ticket because that again, it's it's there for us, and I I, I want to see it keep on continuing and growing. And so I, I hope you'll feel the same way. Um, so the website is it's just altconf.com. Okay, and so you can go and sign up. You can see everything, yeah. and as we get a little bit closer, you'll be able to see uh, some. I guess the, the will the tracks be posted on the website eventually. 
Yeah, they will. It's coming in the next few days, so it will be up there, and people have time to kind of review the tracks and um, and and see what topics are coming. Yeah. Great. So by the time you see this, those those that information may be up, um, and and you know if you're in the San Jose area. Come down, go to AltConf, see what the developer community is all about, because um, it's it's truly an amazing community. Something else that's amazing, though, Anna, you, this is a totally volunteer conference, and it's not like it's organized by by some people in San Jose either. You're in Sydney. Rob is is in the UK, and I know we've yeah. talked to him before. Um, you have at least one of the key players from Denver that I know. Um, yeah. you, you guys come from all over the place to put this on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It um, makes it certainly more challenging, but also kind of more fulfilling in a weird way at the end when you realize the, I guess, the different timescales you've kind of navigated and um, possibly the lack of sleep because of the timescales you're navigating. Um, but it's, you know, it. I think it's it's more challenging if we were all in san jose it would be a lot easier but actually it's very re rewarding as well at the end when you realize you're all in different places but you're all working towards that common kind of um that common goal of getting all comp to happen and and it 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 pays off in the week when we can kind of all come to san jose and and make it happen well i i applaud you for it and it also gives it definitely gives an international flavor to it as well which I think is always such a phenomenal thing that when you yeah. get people like this, they're united in one common interest and, and sort of a common objective. All the politics go away. All the borders go away. You're just a bunch of people having a good time, occasionally teasing each other about your accents or you know different things. But it's, <laughs> it's always so much fun. Yeah, it is. It's a brilliant week to be part of, definitely. The, one th the, the last thing I want to make sure we don't overlook, though, is that – Altcons just doesn't happen. You have some amazing sponsors that help you put it on, um, and I want to make sure we recognize them here as well. Yeah, absolutely. I I think uh, yeah, you've got it in a nutshell. Like I don't think Altconf could happen without all of our sponsors, and um, you know their support. Um, you know both during before and kind of that eagerness to kind of sign up and be part of the event is just um, is is amazing. Um, I mean, we've got a, a, a quite a good variety this this year, I think. So some new sponsors. So Virgil Security's coming. Um, they'll be there in that hallway. Um, obviously, that security privacy focus. And then we've got some of our others that are returning. So um, IBM, Microsoft will be back. Bugsy, who came last year. You know, a real real host of people. Max Stadium are coming. I know they've they've got um, a few things going on during the week. Um, and the, a real kind of uh, just a willingness to kind of get involved in as much of the week as they can from all of our sponsors. So, yeah, I, a number of them are listed on the website as well if people are interested to kind of see that whole whole host of them. But um, it's just, yeah, we, we couldn't do it without them. So we're, we're kind of extremely appreciative that, that they want to get involved and, and that they get value from the week as well. Well, I will be there um, doing some interviews. I obviously talking to developers. I will definitely be talking to the sponsors as well because I yeah. think it's important for folks to to hear their message as well. Um, and if you're going to be in San Jose and coming to AltCon, find me. I'll probably be in a hallway somewhere. Um, <laughs> that's usually where I, st <laughs> I try to stake things out and uh, and try to stay a little bit out of the flow, but enough so people can find me. Um, if you're a developer, I'd love to hear about your your projects um, and what's going on. And if you're a developer who is is not doesn't have any current projects, stop by and just tell us what you thought of the announcements. Um, because it's it's always again interesting to get those perspectives, and Anna, I will look forward to seeing you, and we will do this again, but we'll do it in person and kind of give an update as awesome. to how the week is going. That sounds great. Thanks, Chuck. Great, thank you. Oh, um, for people that want to follow you on social media or find you, uh, do you have presences there? Not on Twitter. I'm still not on that. I'm only on Instagram. I'm oh. so dis a disappointment. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you can find Anna on Instagram. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Okay. No Twitter. All right. <laughs> Anna, I will see you in San Jose in just a couple of weeks. See you soon. Thanks, right. Chuck. Folks, Bye. Uh, 
Folks, I'm Chuck Joyner. This is Mac Voices. We will be at AltConf and WWDC in San Jose, along with one or two parties. Um, if you're there, please stop by and say hello. We'd love to love to shake hands and say hello in person. Until the next time, and as always, thanks for watching. Visit MacVoices.com for show notes and to connect with Chuck on social media. Get involved in our Mac Voices Facebook group and get more out of your Apple tech with Mac Voices Magazine, free on Flipboard. And if you find value in it all, consider supporting us at patreon.com slash macvoices and join these folks who help keep Mac Voices coming to you. Advertising handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com. Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at cashfly.com.